How's it going, guys? It's me, Technology Dude 117 and welcome to episode 2 of my monthly pickups. Uh, these are my pickups for the month of August. Now, I'm sorry if I sound a little weird. Uh, I thought I'd give you guys a change of scenery. The room might be a little echoey because it sounds kind of echoey to me. Uh, but I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to hear that in the video. Also, my voice might sound a little weird because I am uh, a little sick. I guess you could say I have a summer cold. My nose is a little stuffy. So uh, I apologize for that in advance. Uh, now let's get to the pickups. Um, the month of August, as far as gaming was concerned, it was very dry uh, for the month of August. We had a couple big releases, but not that many. And there was probably about five or six games that came out throughout the entire month of August. Now that is why you guys see hardly any games in front of me. But there is a huge, huge amount of Blu-rays here. Uh, now why is there a huge amount of Blu-rays? Because uh, Best Buy was actually doing um, this program where you could bring your old DVDs and trade them for $5 uh, coupons, which are good towards any Blu-ray movie. So a lot of these movies I got for as low as $5. So each one of these, was, if you ask me, in my opinion, was a steal. They're all very good movies. And there's, let me see how many there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 movies that I picked up this month on Blu-ray. Uh, actually nine because one of them is a little surprise which I'll get to uh, later in this video. Now I did pick up two Xbox 360 games this month, two PlayStation 3 games, the nine Blu-rays, one PC game and one PlayStation Vita game which wouldn't fit in the frame so I'll show you guys that when we come to it. So let's start off with the Xbox 360 games all the way on the left. First we have the Darksiders 2 limited edition. Sorry if it is kind of dark in here. Uh, it's a pretty cloudy day. So you guys might not be able to see that. But this is the Darksiders 2 limited edition. Uh, got it off of Amazon.com. Very good game. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the first Darksiders. So I figured I would check out Darksiders 2. Uh, it's definitely a pretty good game. Uh, I've been enjoying it so far. Uh, now funny story behind this. I got this and Sleeping Dogs off of Amazon for like $120 plus $10 release day shipping. Uh, now this week at Toys R Us, if you go, you can get both Darksiders 2 and Sleeping Dogs for $60, and they have a ton of other games on that deal, like NCAA 13 and a couple other big titles. So I was pretty mad about that. I could have saved like a ton of money. I could have saved over $70, but uh, whatever. This came out August 15th, um, along with Sleeping Dogs. Very good game, like I said, and that is Darksiders 2. This is the limited edition. Next, we have Halo 3. I uh, got this off of eBay. This is the Platinum Hits version. Um, it is still brand new and sealed. Haven't even played it yet. Uh, I got it for like 11 bucks on eBay. Figured I'd pick it up since I never got a chance to play Halo 3. Uh, it's a decent enough game um, from what I've heard. <laughs> Cause I haven't even played it, but uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna play this. I might just sell it because uh, it is kind of old and it's getting a little bit late to play these Halo games with Halo 4 uh, just around the corner. Plus, I kind of know the Halo story pretty well. I've been reading a couple Halo books and um, I've played ODST um, and Halo Combat Evolved, so I kind of know what's going on in the Halo universe. So I don't know if I'm going to be keeping Halo 3. Now that is my second pickup for the Xbox, and that is Halo 3. So for the Xbox, we have Darksiders 2 and Halo 3. Uh, those were my pickups for this month. Uh, next, we have the PlayStation 3 games. First, we have Transformers Fall of Cybertron. This came out uh, like August... Um, I want to say like August 18th, August 19th. I didn't get a day one because I was away on vacation. Um... But I actually did just get this August 30th. I ordered it off of Amazon and it did come August 30th. So it just made the cut for this video. Uh, so far, it's a pretty good game. Uh, I've been enjoying it. Uh, it's definitely, I wouldn't say it's as good as uh, War for Cybertron because that was the best Transformers game. Uh, but it is still a very good game. The multiplayer is a ton of fun and the single player is also very good. So that is Transformers Fall for Cyber Fall of Cybertron. Sorry, Got this for $43 on Amazon. You guys can still get it for $43. So definitely go check that out. It's a great deal for a great game. Uh, next, my second PlayStation 3 pickup and my final PlayStation 3 pickup is Sleeping Dogs. Got this August 15th. Just like I, like I said, uh, this came with Darksiders 2 from Amazon. 
Very good game. I've been enjoying it a lot. It's very uh, interesting and it's very fun. It's a great open world uh, crime title. Um, it's just spectacular, honestly. United Front did a great job with this game. I've definitely been enjoying it. And, uh, and uh, it's definitely one of my favorite games this summer so far. Uh, it's definitely really, really good. And I definitely recommend checking it out. If you guys can get over to Toys R Us, you know, you can get this and Darksiders 2 for both $60. You can even combine consoles. So you can get Sleeping Dogs for PlayStation 3 and Darksiders 2 for Xbox, both for 60 bucks. So definitely head on over to your local Toys R Us if they're doing that deal. Because that is a steal for all those games. Um... Now let's get on to the Blu-ray movies. Like I said, there's nine and there's one other one, which is a special one. Uh, and we'll get into that as we come to it. So let's start off. First, we have Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. Uh, got this like the week after it came out. It was $20 for the Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, and ultraviolet, plus the three mini movies. I had the $5 coupon, so I got it for $15. Uh, a steal in my opinion. I liked the movie. I didn't see it in theaters, but I... I did watch it recently, uh, like, I, and I also watched the three mini movies. They're pretty good, uh, and that is Doctor Seuss's The Lorax. Got it for fifteen bucks. Next, we have Marley. Uh, it's a Bob Marley documentary. Um, I got this the same time that I got the Lorax. Um, it says nineteen ninety nine there, but I think it was cheaper because for some reason I think me and my dad got it for ten, so it might have been on sale for fifteen. This this movie is my dad's. He's a big Bob Marley fan. So he got the documentary Marley. I'm sure it's uh, very good. Next we have Immortals. Fantastic movie. I believe this is from the producer of 300. Or the some somebody who worked on 300 worked in this. Um, you got Mickey Rourke in it. You got Henry Cavill, I guess. Uh, who's going to be the new Superman in the Man of Steel movie. That's him right there. Uh, let me see if I can turn on the light. Because it is pretty dark in here. All right, that's better. Um, and that is Immortals. Got this for 10 15 bucks. Definitely a great movie. I saw it with my dad when it first came out. I uh, really enjoyed it. If you're into, you know, the whole sort of Greek mythology, um, 300 kind of thing, you'll definitely uh, enjoy Immortals for sure. Uh, next, we have The Grey starring Liam Neeson. Got this also for like 10 15 bucks. A uh, very good movie. Saw this with my dad as well when it first came out. Uh, it's it's got a lot of meaning to it, um, and it's definitely a very uh, good and very like powerful movie. I enjoyed it a lot, and um, it's definitely you know one of those movies that's really really good. Uh, and that is the Gray. Got this for like ten fifteen bucks. Like I said, very good movie. Next we have Platoon, starring Charlie Sheen. Uh, apparently, this is one of the best Vietnam War movies ever. Uh, I've never seen it. Uh, it says up there twenty four ninety nine, but it was on sale for like ten bucks. So me and my dad got this for like five. Um, he's big into Vietnam War movies, and I like the uh, I like the good Vietnam War movies. This is Platoon. I uh, heard it's very good. Haven't even watched it yet. It's still in the plastic. Uh, I'll definitely have to watch it soon. That's Platoon. Uh, it's the Blu ray plus DVD combo pack. Next, we have another Vietnam War movie, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, this was $14.99 with the $5 coupon. It was only $10. Um, saw this on TV, enjoyed it, definitely thought it was worth a pickup. Uh, like I said, my dad's big into Vietnam War movies, and I like uh, good Vietnam War movies as well. So that is Full Metal Jacket, great movie, but very realistic and uh, just a good movie. Next, we have the Expendables. This is the uh, original Expendables. Expendables 2 just came out. This I got for $5, which is an absolute steal for the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. Um, this came with a $7.50 credit to see the Expendables 2. Um, now, this is a decent movie. Uh, if you guys like you know, Sylvester Stallone, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, Jet Li, Jason Statham you know, all those guys, Bruce Willis, then you will definitely enjoy The Expendables, and uh, you, sh you probably already have it by now. So that is The Expendables. Next, we have Red. Uh, this is also open because it came with a 750 credit for The Expendables 2. I uh, haven't even seen it yet. I uh, heard it's pretty good. It's starring Bruce Willis. It has Morgan Freeman in it, uh, John Malkovich. Apparently, it's a pretty good movie. Um, haven't seen it yet. Like I said, I'll definitely be watching this soon. That's red. Got this for $5 as well. 
Next, we have the original Total Recall starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. I uh, got this for $5 as well at Best Buy. This also came with a 750 credit to see The Expendables 2. Uh, I haven't even watched the whole thing yet. I've watched about like 30 minutes of it. Uh, it's a pretty good movie. It's not like the new one. The new one's serious. Uh, this one's more of like a comedy. So it's a pretty good movie uh, from what I've seen so far. That is Total Recall starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. And finally, we have Deer Hunter. Now, why am I not including this in... Uh, has part of those nine Blu-rays. Well, I'm not including this because I got this um, way back in like the beginning of July. My dad picked this up. This is also a Vietnam War movie. Um, my dad picked this up for $14.99 because they didn't have the coupons then. But I forgot to include this in my July pickups, so I figured I would just add it into my August ones. So that is The Deer Hunter. Very good war mo- Vietnam War movie. Probably one of the best starring... Uh, you know, Robert De Niro and uh, Christopher Walken, all those guys. Very good movie. Uh, definitely recommend checking this one out if you're into like war movies and Vietnam War movies. It's definitely one of the best. Uh, and finally, we have uh, the PC game. Well, actually, we also have um, we also have the PlayStation Vita game. Now, let me just put these Blu-rays back. Um, and that, those are all the nine Blu-rays that I got this month, uh, including the Deer Hunter, which was the 10th, but that I technically got in July. So those are all the Blu-ray movies that I got this month. Now next we have Guild Wars 2. This is a fantastic MMORPG by ArenaNet. Uh, I just got this August 30th when I came back from vacation, had it on pre-order, was so excited for this. I'm glad that I picked it up because I've really been enjoying it. I've been playing a lot of the game. Uh, it's a ton of fun. If you guys are into MMOs and you have a PC, definitely pick up Guild Wars 2. It's fantastic. You will not be disappointed. I like love this game. It's amazing. So there's the back. That is Guild Wars 2. Got this for 60 bucks. It is still 60 bucks, but totally worth it. It's a phenomenal phenomenal game and finally we have that playstation vita game that i was telling you guys about that lone playstation vita game and that is mortal Kombat. um this i got for 10 bucks at gamestop at like the beginning of the month um this i haven't even played it's still in the plastic and i probably won't play it either because i don't know i'm just not that big of a mortal Kombat fan and well i'm not i, I do enjoy mortal Kombat, but you know i can't really imagine it on the playstation vita um, so for that reason, I'm not going to open it. Plus I could probably sell for like $20, make the 10 back plus another 10. So that'd be very cool. Uh, and that is Mortal Kombat for the PlayStation Vita. And that is my final pickup for the month of August. If you guys did enjoy this pickups video, do not forget to comment, rate, favorite, and subscribe. Please share this with your video or please share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like and favorite the video as well. Please subscribe, like I've said, um, and if you guys want to see maybe more stuff in my monthly pickup for September, like maybe the books that I picked up or some other stuff, I will definitely show you. If you guys do want to see that, comment down below, and I will do it in my September's pickups. Now, this has been my pickups for the month of August. Um, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and do all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.